Hi, you're watching a Kevin Productions tutorial, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up a static IP address. A static IP is an IP that you set up yourself to connect to your internet or your um, your network that you will always connect with. You will always connect with, with this IP. Usually when you connect to your router, it gives you a random router IP. It gives you a random network IP, and you can never really guess what it's going to be. And if you use port forwarding to speed up downloads, to speed up games, to do remote desktop, yeah, there's so many possibilities and I'll get into with later videos, this is what you need. You need uh, to set up a static IP. So this is how. On uh, You need to find your network devices or the main internet connected network device. On uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you can do this by going to Network and Sharing Center and then Manage Network Connections. I'm on XP because I prefer it and I'm going to go to connect to and show all connections. Here's my internet connected device, right click and click properties. Alright so you're here and you want to look for internet protocol TCP slash IP. Some people get multiple of these, some people get like V6 and V4 and even V2. Go ahead and click V4, V4 is the one you're looking for but if, if you don't have V4 it's the internet protocol. Hit properties. You should see obtain an IP address automatically and auto DNS automatically. You want to go ahead and use use the following IP address. Use the following DNS address. Now you need to know your subnet mask, your default gateway, and your DNS server's IP. To figure this out, go to start, run, CMD. I'm gonna go ahead and move this so you can see both screens, and you're gonna get this DOS window. Um, go ahead and type IP config slash all all right I get um, all this info here just just keep note of your subnet mask your default gateway your DNS um, you can go ahead and make your IP address 192.168.1 point um, whatever your number you want under I want to say 200 there's a, there's a max number you can go to I think it's 255 yeah it's 260 255 is the max number you can go to. I'm going to go ahead and make mine 155 and it should automatically fill in your subnet mask but if not put the one that you saw in your DOS window and put in your default gateway which I see over here and my preferred DNS. Alright and I should be set. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, close that. To test it, I'm gonna go back to this DOS window and I'm gonna type in IP config slash all. There we are, the only thing that's changed is your IP address. My IP is now 192.168.1.155. That IP address I will have every time I boot up my computer now. Um, my next tutorial will be how to set up a remote desktop. Uh, keep looking for that. If you're subscribed, you'll get it. And if you're not, you won't. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, fill in. Uh, thank you for watching.